All right, just taking a quick look at the new Renegy Phoenix Power Stations. So they got a whole lineup of these things now. There's actually three different sizes. And you've probably heard of the Renegy brand before because, you know, they've basically been making a lot of um, off-grid solar stuff for quite a few years now, right? Like basically anything that you could, uh, anything you could want or need, um, you know, batteries, solar panels, charge controllers, inverters, you know, you, you name it. They, they, they basically made it. But they haven't really taken a real serious look at making um, portable power stations yet. I mean, they did come out with the original Renogy Phoenix 300 like a couple of years ago. But that was just basically like a budget unit. And, um, you know, it only had like decent reviews. And it was just kind of a standalone product, right? It didn't, it didn't really look like they were taking it too seriously. So they've actually redesigned that unit. And that design has basically been brought... Um, onto all three sizes now. So this is kind of what you see here is this, this is the new design language, right? So um, we do have three sizes. We have the one we're gonna be taking a look at today and probably the one you're gonna be most interested in is, uh, is the 1000, this is the 1000 watt hour. They do have a 500 watt hour and a 200 watt hour. But one thing to note is that only this 1000 watt hour is um, LFP batteries. So lithium iron phosphate. It's only the 1000 watt hour one, not, not the other sizes. Yeah, so this thing has like a lot of interesting features and something I'm kind of like really excited to take a look at. Because, um, you know, when I first saw this unit online, I wasn't, um, you know, I kind of just glanced at it and kind of just brushed it off. But after, after looking through this listing, I'm, I'm, I'm actually like, like pleasantly surprised by this unit. And this, this might be like the best, um, you know, mid-size unit out there. And, um, you know, a couple of things that really set this thing apart is check it out they've got actually two different um parallel kits you can get for this thing and you know one is single phase but another one is actually split phase which does give you some uh 240 volt outlet now we'll, we'll talk about these parallel kits in a little bit um i want to go over the actual power station you know first so um yeah this is uh, the 1000 watt hour version as i mentioned and this size is actually like my favorite um size for portable power stations anyways um, you know, like a 1000 watt hour battery with uh, a bigger, like a slightly bigger 1500 watt inverter, right? And the, the reason I really like this size is because, you know, with a thousand watt hours, it's not going to be too big. It's not going to be too heavy. 41 pounds for this unit. So that's something that you can, you can definitely, you know, it, it's still, it's still a little heavy, right? But um, most people can kind of like pick this thing up and move it around. And that's, that's really important when you're talking about portable power stations and then still having like a larger size inverter 1500 watt like you're going to be able to power almost anything that you plug into a standard wall with this thing right and um if that's not enough like i said these parallel kits will, will definitely um like boost that number up a, a lot higher so um but yeah let's just um let's just jump into it right let's just take a look at the the product itself and talk about the design first so um you know, one thing um, I am a little bit disappointed with this unit is this handle design is just kind of, it's just kind of weird. The whole top of this unit just seems like um, an unfortunate mess because you've got these, these big handles here and you do have this like flat area that kind of um, rests between the handles, but it's going to be like, you could set some stuff in there, like some small items in there, I guess. So it's, it's not like horrible there is a flat area there but um you know as far as like setting just things in general like on top of the unit um that's not going to really work too well although these you know the, the handles are flat so um you know maybe you could do that if you had like a really big box or a toad or something like that what we do see with the design is that they kind of have this you know it's black and turquoise is the color scheme they're going with um, this is actually an LED like ambient light and um, you can control that with the app so we'll talk about that when we uh, when we get to the app and stuff like that but yeah basically um, you know other than the kind of funky handle design there's not there's nothing too special about this unit now it does have like the screen and all the ports on the front as far as at least the output ports right so I do like to see that um, you know, as I mentioned, that's, that's just makes, that's just good design. It just makes using the, the product a lot easier. Now it's not perfect because we do have the, um, the input, the charging and stuff like that on the side. So not everything's on the front, 
But, um, you know, at least that's better than being on the back. So I think um, overall this is actually a pretty good design. It's not perfect. Um, but, you know, something that I, I, I would be happy with using, right? Now we do get, um, you know, six outlets for the inverter. You got the standard uh, car plug here. We get two USB-A's, uh, one quick charge. And then these two USB-C's are actually um, 100 watts. So that's... Um, I think that's pretty good specs. That's basically everything you, you'd want in a power station, right? So, um, so let's just keep moving to see what else we got to see. So they're talking about um, extraordinary cooling, si cooling system. Um, so this is good. They're basically saying with this chart here is that, you know, for, um, for a given temperature, like inside the unit, let's say right there, 90 degrees, you're going to be, with this unit, you're going to be able to run a higher wattage. So this, this, um, Access on the chart here is actually watts. So basically, they're just saying, um, you know, to, to have the internals get up to 90 degrees, you're going to be running higher watts than um, with, a, with a normal power station. So I think that's good. You know, um, I always like to see good cooling on these, these power stations because, as you know, like, like heat is the number one thing that's just going to cause failure with these units, whether it's the batteries whether it's the electronics inside, right? The inverter, the control board, stuff like that. So, um, you know, having them talk about this, I think is just really good because you you basically, you're going to get longer life with the, with the unit. So um, quick charging. So, uh, you know, from the wall, basically 0 to 80% in one hour, uh, basically around, you know, 1,000 watts, and it is a 1,000 watt hour battery. So it probably does, you know, the reason they say to 80% is that they're going to slow that, that charge down um, after 80%, which is just going to be better for the batteries. So that's a, that's a good idea. As long as you can get about 80% of the battery in an hour, um, that's good enough. Now the solar, the solar is a little disappointing. I, I, I'm going to give it a passing grade because it's only 400 watts going in. But guess what? Um, you can actually do up to 100 volts. So that... Um, just because of that, I'm going to give it a passing grade. And then remember, this this unit, they're kind of thinking like maybe um, maybe you're going to have like um, two of these units, right? And you're probably going to use um, one of those parallel kits. So if you had two of these units, you know, then you could potentially double this, right? And then lastly, the app. So so yeah, the DC Home app. And that's just going to allow you to, to customize everything with this unit. And um, this is good to see here. We got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Right, so um, you don't have to have Wi-Fi to use it. All right, so let's just talk about the real exciting thing here, the, 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 uh, the parallel kit. So the first one here is actually the single phase. And um, this one is actually available for both the 1,000 watt hour version and um, the smaller one, the 500 watt hour version. So basically what this is going to do is just like a, just a, a parallel kit for the, for the battery and the inverter. So basically, you're going to um, you're going to like like almost double the AC inverter output, and you're going to actually then pull from both batteries, right? So you basically double the capacity of the battery as well. So um, yeah, with the 1,000, this is some you know some serious output, 2,700 watts, right? But even with the with the little unit, you can get some decent power out of that thing as well. So um, and, and basically, single phase is just like um, you know the standard voltage. So 120 volts. Um, you know the the voltage that you normally get out of the the front of the unit, you're gonna get out of the uh, the this uh, this adapter, right? The the parallel kit adapter as well. But um, you know, as you can see here, you do get like. Uh, Kind of this uh, this uh, 30 amp style uh, plug that you can use for uh, you know if you have a a hookup in your van or or even in your house if you have a transfer switch right now let's look at the split phase um, parallel kit because this is something you might find super interesting because this is not something you see a lot of so now this one is only available for the 1000 so this is not um, available for the 500 which uh, which you know totally makes sense. But um, the thing that's, that's really special about this, uh, you know, the, the split phase is check this out. I'm going to zoom in here. This um, like 30 amp style outlet is actually uh, 240 volt with this, right? So this one is 240 volt and then you can still use the regular outlets here are 120 volt, right? 
So um, this is this is kind of like really interesting. If if you got a use for for 240 volts, this might be something you want to take a look at, right? Because you don't see a whole lot of options for 240 volt out output on these power stations. And um, you know what's really nice about having these uh, uh, parallel kits as well is when you have two units like this, as as I've mentioned in some of my other reviews. Um, when you have two units like this too, remember like like this one here is 41 pounds, right? And then this one as well. So, um, you know, when you want to like actually move these units around, like it just makes moving it so much easier. And then when you don't need, you know, when you don't need this kind of um, this power, you know, then you can just use one at a time, right? You, and you can use them in different locations as well. So yeah, that's just something I like about these uh, parallel units is you don't have to have that, that burden of, of having like a super heavy unit that you have to worry about moving around, right? Now one thing to note is that um, they do mention if you're using the parallel kit, and this is for the split phase or the single phase, is that um, you know when you have this thing plugged in, it basically um, disables these outlets here. So you can't, you know, you can't, um, you know, have stuff going in here and, and here at the same time. Now the USB-C, as we mentioned, um, is 100 watt. So, you know, that's as good as it gets. And then uh, adaptive free AC charging. So, yeah, just the, um, just the standard cord there, right? No, uh, no power brick. Um, you know, that's, of course, what we expect to see nowadays. And the app, the app, right? So it's the, the DC Home app. And, um, you know, basically this... This app is not something just new for these power stations too, right? They've been using this for some of their other um, off-grid accessories, right? And their battery monitors and stuff like that. So I would expect that um, this DC Home app is going to be like, you know, it's already going to be, you know, fine-tuned and um, it's not going to be some, some glitchy thing. Let's see the LED, yeah, the LED light strip on the front, as, as I mentioned earlier. Um, Basically, you can in the app you can kind of change it, and you can change the uh, the brightness as well. And then lastly, just everything that it comes with. Basically, all the cables that you need. I do like to see that. So many of these power stations, they you know they cheap out and they don't give you everything. But this one, yeah, AC power, the MC4 adapters, and the the car plug, right? So um, in the car plug and the um, the solar, just so you know. It's XT30 that they're using. They're not using the XT60, unfortunately, um, which I don't understand. You know, why not just use the XT60? It's, it's a little bit more popular, right? And it's just in general, it would handle more power. So, yeah, a little disappointing on that. And then the last thing, um, something I kind of noticed here is that um, this is kind of interesting. They're basically saying that the, uh, the country of origin is Thailand, right? So this, this might be one of the first power stations that's not made in China. So that's interesting. I know we're, you know, we're starting to see a lot of companies move out of China. Um, now, I, now, I'd assume that the batteries are probably still coming from China. That's almost a, a certainty, but they're, they're uh, assembling the unit in Thailand, it looks like. So yeah, and then, uh, and then again, as I said, only 41 pounds. So, so this, this product can do a lot, right? This thing can do a lot. Um, only weighing 41 pounds so yeah hopefully um you know hopefully you found this thing interesting i you know i know definitely i'm gonna be taking a serious look at this unit uh, myself because um like i said this thing um you know being able to uh, expand it with those parallel kits and just like i said this is just my favorite size class because it's kind of like not too heavy and it can kind of do almost anything you want it to do right and um you know having lfp batteries and, um, you know, Renogy just has the experience of, of making these, these kind of products, right? Now, as I mentioned, um, just, just to kind of recap again, only the 1,000 watt-hour version is LFP batteries. The other ones are NMC batteries. So that might just be something to take note of. But, of course, the other ones, you know, you're probably only going to be looking at if you want something that's really, um, you know, lightweight, right? So that's the reason they went with NMC batteries with those units. But... Um, but yeah, so hopefully you found this, uh, this interesting or uh, helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching.